Minnesota State Fair starts one week from today, and we've got the scoop on a new food you can try. In this week's Behind the Business, Heidi Wigdahl has more on how a fair veteran and a newcomer are teaming up. A big old Joining forces. What? Yeah. Oh, can oh lead God. to sweet surprises. This, this is, is the ice cream, yep. Zach Ra and Emily Hagen can attest to that. We're looking to just revamp the menu this year and add something kind of fun and different. Change at Granny's Apples and Lemonade. The stand's been at the Minnesota State Fair since 1986. It's a long day for an old lady. Mary Wagner <laughs> leads the way with the whole family helping. That's 26 grandkids, <laughs> including Emily. It's a lot of work for Granny to pull this off, so we just pitch in and make sure that it runs very smoothly. And bring fresh ideas, like introducing Grannies to Hopkins-based A to Z Creamery. So it was a business that started during COVID. Zach's hobby, making ice cream for family and friends, turned into a full-blown business. Yeah. A new flavor announced every alive. week can sell out in seconds. You'll never find just a plain vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, mint chip, everything's always very fancy. Long lines form to pick up those precious pints. We were just the people that stood in line to get ice cream. Now the pair is teaming up for the Minnesota State Fair. Hey Zach, it's time to make some ice cream. It looks so good. It's called Apple of Granny's Eye, a spiced apple ice cream with salted caramel swirl and brown sugar oak crumble. Homemade in house and hand packed as you can see. Right now, it's crunch time. Getting a little stressed with all the unknowns that come with the fair, with the lines and the demand of everything and um, all the logistics behind it. But I mean, it's a dream for any Minnesotan, so I couldn't be more thrilled. Teaming up to bring a new treat. For Behind the Business, Heidi Wigdahl, CARE 11 News.